Hello all, welcome back. This is Crystal Baldina from Trinity Software. In this video, let us build a Flask application using PostgreSQL database with crude operations. Postgres is a great choice for database as it is open source, free and it supports both relational as well as non-relational querying. When comparing MySQL with Postgres, MySQL is a purely relational database management system whereas Postgres is object relational database management system. Postgres contains interrelated tables like MySQL. Apart from that, it also supports objects, classes, inheritance and offers more sophisticated data types. And syntax is similar in both with some notable differences. And when we compare MongoDB with PostgreSQL, MongoDB is a non-relational database where data is stored in key value pairs. PostgreSQL data is stored in different tables. Okay. To start our project, we have to first install PostgreSQL in our system. So in my previous video, I have explained how to install Postgres in Windows. I have given the link for that video in the description below. After installing PostgreSQL, to access Postgres database from the command line, make sure that you have added the Postgres path in environment variable. After that, in command prompt, type psql u postgres that is the username postgres. It will ask for the password. So you have to provide the password which you have created for the super user while installing postgres in your system. So we have logged in to the postgres database now. In my previous tutorial I have already created a database namely flask underscore db. So list out the contents of the postgres database and just give slash l. So this is the database which I have already created flask underscore db. You can go to that particular database by giving backslash c flask underscore db. Okay, you are now connected to the database. Fine. Now in this tutorial, we will create a flask web application with crude operations. So I have used scikit 2 library, a PostgreSQL database connector to interact with the PostgreSQL in Python. And Flask is actually a lightweight Python web framework for creating web applications. To start the project, you need to install both Flask and Scikit-2 by using this command pip install Flask and pip install Scikit-2. After that, we have to create a folder for our project. I am using PyCharm Community Edition. So in this folder, let me create a new directory for our project. Name it as Flask Postgres. Inside this directory, create a python file called as init underscore db. Init underscore db so that we can initialize our database. So here I am going to import the library scikit 2 Then I am going to open a connection to the flask underscore db database using scikit 2 dot connect function. We are setting up the connection cynn equal to scikit 2 dot connect method here you are going to pass the parameters like database the flask underscore db which i have already created then specify the username password host and the port number so host equal to local host then the username postgres and the password is the one which you have created when you install the postgres in your system you have to mention the port number also. The default port number is 5432. Fine. After this, we are going to create a cursor. So, cursor name is cor equal to connection dot cursor. This is used to execute PostgreSQL commands in the database section. So, in the next step, you can use this cursor's execute method to create a table called courses. So, we will create the table now with the four columns. That is the course ID, course name, fees and the duration of the course as a dot execute create table with the condition if not exist anyway i'm going to run this only once for initializing the database table name is courses now i'm going to pass the four columns here first the column name is id the serial type primary key but the serial type means that it is an auto incrementing integer and the primary key means that the database will assign a unique value for each entry for this particular column. Then name, varchar, 
of 100 then course fees integer type and duration in hours i'm setting it integer again fine now after creating the table you can use the cursor.execute method again to insert three courses into the table cr.execute insert into courses table insert only for the columns name fees and duration because id is auto incrementing integer so you not insert that the values python fees this is 1500 45 hours then java course fees and 60 hours comma javascript comma 30 okay now we have to use this connection dot commit method that is conn dot commit method to commit the transaction and apply the changes to the database we have to close both the cursor and the connection cor dot close method and then connection is closed by conn dot close method that's it with the init database now here go to this particular folder cd mask postgres folder now execute this init underscore db init underscore db dot py okay now in the command line here you can give select star from courses select star from courses table so we have got the, all the three entries of the particular table with the four columns the id is generator the course name fees and duration is given this is what is happening in Postgres database. We want to show this in the Flask application. Let's continue with the Flask application. Okay, now we need to create another Python file called app.py. New Python file. Name it as app. Here, you have to import the same library again. Psycop2. Then, from the Flask package, you have to import Flask class as well as the render template method okay fine then we need to create a flask application instance called app so app equal to flask of name okay now i am going to define a function called db connection this function should open a connection to the flask db database using the username and password exactly the same thing which we have done in the init underscore db file I'll copy this line so i have copied and pasted it here this function will return the connection object so that you can use this function to access the database so return connection we can call this function whenever we need to access the database fine then we need to create a main root and an index view function using app dot root decorator so app dot root slash then the index view function so in this index view function you are going to open a database connection using this db connection function conn equal to the name of the function is db underscore conn okay now we have to set up the cursor for this cursor is equal to conn dot cursor we can use the execute method of the cursor to select everything from the courses so i'll just give cursor dot execute and select star from courses table okay then use the fetch all method to save the data in a variable called data so data equal to cursor dot fetch all method after this you can close the cursor and the connection by using cor dot close method and cynn dot close method and finally you have to return a call to the render template function to render a template file called index dot html so passing it the list of courses we fetched in a data variable return render template first argument is the index dot html file second argument is the data equal to the data which we have fetched here that's it now to display the courses we have in our database on the index page we need to 
write the code for index.html file. So initially you have to create a templates folder under this flash process new folder folder name is templates. In this templates folder you can create index.html file new html file called index okay let me change the title as flash postgres equal so inside this i will place some html code so what i have done is that i have used a hatron tag with the css styling to write academic courses here then i have used a table in the t head the heading of the table contains four columns the course id course name fees and duration in the body of the table i have used a ginger for loop this line percentage for row in data percentage this is to go through each course in the courses list so course id will be available in row of zero and then course name row of one similarly row of two will contain course fees and row of three will contain the course duration percentage in for and I have closed the body of the table that's it a simple index.html file just to display all the course contents alone okay now flask run so click here we'll get the output Trinity Academy courses these are the courses which I have already inserted right so that is displayed now uh, I'm going to add the crude operations and just we are able to read the contents of the courses table apart from that i need to create new course i need to update the course details and also delete option so i will do all these things now so the next thing is i'll add new courses i'm going to app.py again it will create a new route for adding new courses to the table in the index.html we will be having a form so for handling the web form you will need to import a few more things from the flask package so i will import the request redirect and url underscore for okay the request object is to access the submitted data and url for us to generate urls redirect function is to redirect the users to the another page after this you can add the root for creating new courses so that is at app dot root create and I'm using the methods equal to post okay then create the function df create In this route we have passed the post to the methods parameter to allow post request post request are used to post data to a specific route in our index.html file the users will be filling and submitting the web form for adding new courses that code i am going to add in the index.html file will be doing it soon so here under this create function you are going to open the database again c one and equal to db underscore connection method again we have to create a cursor equal to connection dot cursor cursor is created now get the data from the form so you have to extract the name fees and duration from the request dot form object so name equal to request dot form so this form details I will be giving it in the index.html file. Then fees I am retrieving from the form. The content stored in the name of fees. Then duration equal to request.form of duration. Okay. We are extracting these details from the index.html file. Now we can execute the insert into SQL statement to insert the course details. Cursor dot execute method use the insert query insert into courses insert only name fees and duration and the values are going to be past a string so percentage yes percentage yes come out percentage yes i'm going to pass three values they are name fees duration we are passing those values now fine now we have to commit the transaction close the cursor and the connection c1 and dot commit close the cursor cursor dot close and c1 and dot close fine so lastly we have to read at the user to the index page where we can see the newly added course below the existing courses return redirect url underscore for index okay so now we have to write the form in the index.html 
close the table here then create a form for adding new courses so add a new course i have created a form form action is equal to create method is equal to post i have three input text boxes so that users can enter course name fees and duration finally we have the submit button that's it with the form after submitting you have requested these form details in the app.py here using the request.form object okay fine so let me execute it again we have got this add a new course option now so let me add angular js here fees and the duration of the course okay once i press this create button it is added here you can add as many number of courses as you want now we need to add two more options like update and delete so for the update and delete option this is similar to adding a new course except for the query instead of insert into query we are going to use update query and delete query options okay so again in app.py after this let me create a decorator and a function for update option okay so i have created a function for update we have attained this details from the form from the index.html file so here i'm getting name fees duration and id also because i'm going to update based on the course id so update courses you can update either the course name course fees or duration and i have to specify where id is equal to for the selected id okay and the name fees and duration which the user has entered in the form okay so finally are committing the connection and return redirect url for index fine similarly you can do it for delete option also so here for delete option you just need to retrieve the course id from the user using the request.form then cursor.execute i'm deleting from courses where id is equal to this specified id okay now we need to fill the index.html file with update and delete option okay Here I have this update or delete course details. I created a table again with a T head used as a minimal CSS styling to display course ID, name, fees, duration and action. It can be either update or delete option. The T body again I am using Jinja for loop to loop through all the courses. Form action is equal to update. I have used input boxes to display the name, fees and duration. ID I have made it as a hidden one. Okay. So the default value whichever is present in the database will be given here. You can change the value for course name, fees or duration and then you can update it. Whereas for delete option I have given the id in the hidden input again and then we have a submit button called delete. Okay. Now let's execute and check the output. So we have this table we have already seen add a new course. You can update or delete. So here update a particular course status. For example, in Java, I'm changing the duration from 60 to 90 and I'm pressing update. So here you can see that it has changed. After it is updated, it is not in order. So I can just give order by ID in app.py. Select query. Select stock from courses. Order by ID. Fine. Okay, so it's an order. Now for Angular JS change fees is 8500. I give update. It is updated here. So to delete a particular course, delete this JavaScript. So it is deleted here. You can add any other course. C programming fees 3000 and duration 30. Create. So it will be created here. Okay, so crude operations are performed using this Flask application. Now, adding some CSS to this. So here I have added some styling. Let's execute it again. This is the table. Python update. The duration is 60. Update. So it got updated here. Now that's it about building a Flask application using PostgreSQL database with crude operations. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, kindly share and subscribe.